Hi, Joel Johnson here with another segment of the Money Wisdom Question and Answer Series. And today, we're going to answer the question, what does it cost to work with a financial advisor? What does it really cost? Well, there's basically three ways a financial advisor earns their money or a firm earns their money. Number one is just charging a fee by the hour. This would be very similar to an accountant or an attorney, the way they charge fees. If they work for you for an hour, they're going to charge you whatever the billing rate is in your area, $300, $500 an hour. The other way is they will manage your money and charge a fee based on money under management. So if they're managing a million dollar portfolio, there's going to be some kind of a fee based on the size of that portfolio, typically a percentage, it might be 1% or so that they're charging on that portfolio. When you do better, they do better. When you do worse as far as performance, they get a pay cut. So it puts you on the same side of the table as the financial advisor as far as performance and incentives. There's less conflict of interest as far as that goes. And then the third way is they receive a commission on a product that they sell. So back in the old days, I've been in this business for 30 years, back in the old days, financial planner could sell you a mutual fund. They would get paid by the company. You would never write them a check, but it was built into the particular mutual fund or in the case of an insurance product, an insurance product. So that's it. It's that simple. Three ways. A fee by the hour, a fee based on money management, and that would typically be a percentage, or some type of a commission. Also, some advisors, our firm and other firms, they charge you a fee based on the assets under management, but you get many, many other services because of that. Maybe tax planning, uh, maybe there's estate planning involved, they might have a team of attorneys or accountants that can help you, and maybe, uh, again, if they're like us or some other firms, you only pay that fee based on assets under management. So a lot of different ways, but basically you're going to pay somewhere around 1% or so, give or take a little bit, for that relationship, or I should say that's what the financial advisor is getting paid. It's either going to be very transparent or you're going to kind of wonder where that fee is, but you know it's built in. If you enjoyed this topic and you want to hear more, I've recorded a podcast episode on the very same subject, so just click on the link.